when I bet and then I win, you take 10%, but when I lose, what's going to happen? You're not going to give me any 10%. So it's not being fair. After all, it's my money I invested in the betting. So if I lose and I don't get anything, but when I win, you get something. That's very unfair. It has a lot of disadvantages than, than its advantages. Uh, you see, it is not proportional. You lose more than gaining. And, and if you are to gain more than, than losing, then the betting companies will definitely... Um, you know, discourage most of the youth in going through this betting, this lottery and all that. And in another way too, you know, um, most of us are unemployed. Most of the youth in Ghana are unemployed. So many of them are using these bet platforms to get income. You know, to get money into the account and all that to do one or two things that they need to do. So I think in a way it's going to help, but in a way it's not going to help us too. There are no jobs in Ghana and the youth would actually be in, do, indulging um, criminal activities such as arm robbery and or just, just to get money for their own benefits. But betting companies have come to make the youth also have a better way of getting money, which is in a way not good but it's better than uh, being an armed robber or prison yes someone who had big or plenty and did not make good use of it that small amount cannot do anything so what have they done with the e-levy and mind you you are taxing the betting companies what have you done with it you are you are taxing the telcos what have you done with it and now you are going to tax the poor boy who comes from Obuasi, who is just trying to buy hope so that he doesn't engage himself in immoral acts what are you going to do with it? Even the three billion, you did nothing with it. What are you going to do with that ten percent? It is not going to help us. So you see, one they are lazy and they are using the lazy man approach. And if you use the lazy man approach, there is no significant impact in the society. So it's better they stop. It has no positives. It it has no advantages. I'm urging them. If they think we win, they should take Ghana's reserves, go there, and stake and see if. The youth win. That is where they will know that they have to put money into the pockets of the youth every month. At least 500 cities on my momo. Thinking about it because uh, for the past one and a half seasons, have not won. Okay, have not won. And if you permit me, I, I, I would show you my history. I, I can show you. Have have not won. And I've also heard the government is now introducing 10% of what you win because of the economic crisis. I can even show it to you. There was a time I stayed 0.02 pesos because <laughs> I just needed hope, you see. I just needed hope. So, and, and, and all these, I, I, I can tell you, lost, 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 lost. The last time I won a bet like two years ago, two years ago. But I've been staking 30 CDs, 40 CDs, 50 CDs, 5 CDs, 2 CDs, and 0.02 pesos. So it tells you how the economy is. Yeah, it's good for us because it's a development thing. We can't refuse from tax. Tax is good, but if you tax the person, if the person will tax it, it's too high. He can't even pay. If he will draw from the belt, understand me? So I'll, yeah, he will be dodging because if I go stay, then I pay ten The next time I'll come and stay again. No, I I will come again. But even if you tax me like two cities, then it's good for me. So if you tax me about ten cities, I'll, I'll, I'll even pay more.